every time I would think, okay, I gotta get my camera out and film today, something really, really crappy would happen. <laughs> Having the flexibility to be wherever you want to be when you want to be there is a blessing and a curse. I just really had no clue what this video was going to be and I feel like this is the best way that I could have ended it. I love driving. That's something I've come to realize while living on the road. But over the last weekend, I drove from Alamosa to Durango, from Durango to Montrose, and finally from Montrose to Salida, which is actually not very far from where I started in Alamosa, totaling a few hundred miles and well over 10 hours in the van. As much as I love to prop my foot up on the door and sing along to my favorite songs, I was beyond ready to find a campsite with good views and enjoy staying put for the week. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast Oh, I guess time's in a rush Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back While I'm on a one-way track Now I know what it means to grow I know what you're thinking. Why, when she had such a perfect spot, is she waking up in a city or what looks like a city? And the answer to that is both complicated and quite simple. The simple answer is that the internet totally crapped out at the top of that mountain and I have a job to do. So I had to drive into town or 
the nearest city um, that Sunday to make sure that I was prepared for work on Monday. From there, I spent a couple days in Colorado Springs and I am now in Boulder. I put a lot of thought and effort into making my videos something I would want to watch and sometimes that can be hard. I'm not somebody who plans what I'm going to film. I kind of just um, hit record <laughs> and then throw everything into iMovie and whatever happens, happens. Um, yeah, so I was thinking this video would be like how I work full time and can still do van life in the city and every time I would think okay I gotta get my camera out and film today something really really crappy would happen <laughs> so um, rather than get the camera out and film those things because that's the last thing you want to do when you're already in a bad mood or things are just not going your way I've compiled a list of all the non-desirable things that have happened to me this week aka I had a really crappy week and that's just life sometimes. So here's the short, sweet, and to the point list of what made van life so hard this week. Okay, number one, I just said this, but I had to leave my campsite because the internet sucks so I was working in town. There were dogs everywhere and Charlie barked all day. Anyone who has ever met Charlie can verify his his bark is louder than any dog in the entire world. I don't care. I will argue with you. It is the worst bark because it is so loud. It is amplified by being inside of a tiny van and it hurts my ear, which by the way is not better after seeing the ENT when I was home. I finished working and I had a two hour drive from Salida, Colorado to Colorado Springs, which somehow turned into three hours and it poured down rain the entire time. Penny was panting the entire drive and I didn't have signal, which means I couldn't listen to any music or podcast to drown out the sound of her panting. While working in a pretty much empty parking lot on Thursday, uh, security came and knocked on the van door and asked me to move because the property manager complained. I guess I was taking up valuable space. And to top it all off, this is the biggest one that I am still beating myself up over. I closed Penny's tail in the van door, which was obviously an accident, but it was a really hard shut. So close, so hard that the door actually latched. And so she was stuck in place. It's not like the door bounced back. It latched in place. She cried, I cried. I'm pretty sure she's fine now. Um, she's getting lots of extra treats this week because I feel extra terrible about what happened. Um, today is Saturday. Um, my task now, I guess, is find a hike get my groceries and try to head back to a new spot in the mountains for work next week. Let's see what we can get ourselves into with the time that we have left. I think I forgot to mention that I left Colorado Springs on Thursday and spent the weekend in Boulder. We found an area of open space and I was not prepared for the crowd on this beautiful Saturday morning, but it's called open space for a reason and I knew there would be plenty of room for us to get off trail if we needed to, so the dog suited up and we headed out for a beautiful out and back trail. Charlie was quick to find a pond to swim in while Penny played it safe and got a drink from the shore. Our bad week turned into a colorful surprise as I started to notice that the wildflowers outside of Boulder were absolutely popping against the green grass. If time had allowed, I probably would have spent the entire day taking pictures of the dogs and the flowers and staring at the mountains in the distance. It was just special.
Maybe our lives were not meant to collide from the start. But who could foresee the fall? Maybe it's time to decide what to do with the fact that it happens to us all. awesome so beautiful outside the wildflowers are just unreal right now and I'm gonna say something that I've never said before best behaved dog on the trail I am not kidding I am not exaggerating her Penny best behaved dog on the trail she is so tired from being such a good girl She's gonna get so many treats today, so much peanut butter. I don't know what got into her, but she was a freaking angel. She didn't bark at a single dog, and we crossed a lot of dogs, so. Hey, look. Hey, look at me. It's okay. Cookie, good girl. Doing so good. Good job. Hey, look. Penny. Good girl. Great day. Um, just ate lunch, just kind of been chilling for a while, letting the dog snooze, and I think I'm going to get my thumb off the camera, and we're gonna find a scenic drive that's not gonna take like all day, because I am kind of tired. And then, yeah, so far, today makes up for the crappy week. <laughs> Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So high, trusting our wings to fly. 
Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground ignore how red my face is I'm still like warm from showering and drying my hair but I <laughs> did all my errands um, fully ready for a week in the mountains was excited to like not have to sleep in the city anymore and um, my plan was to get a spot uh, about two and a half hours outside of Boulder and then next weekend I have a three-day weekend I'm off work that following Monday so I was planning to do like an extended weekend I guess you would say um, exploring Rocky Mountain National Park but van life changes everything and having the flexibility to be wherever you want to be when you want to be there is a blessing and a curse because my sister just texted me and invited me to join her and her husband um near well i'll tell you when i get there i have a 12 hour drive that is going to be broken up into a few different days um today i'm going to try to knock out six hours stopped at 7-eleven got a slurpee got snacks for the road here we go hey darling can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count Honey, come on now and take my hand It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two It is very windy out here, so I have an interesting setup going on right now. It could end up, it could end very poorly. I have my passenger side door open to block the wind from my camera, so it is possible that the wind may come swoop in and close the door, and then my camera may, I, I don't know, this video may not happen. Um, I had no idea. <laughs> The direction of this video I I don't know like this whole last week was so chaotic and crazy and then like having a change of plans and coming leaving Colorado earlier than I originally intended to I had I just really had no clue what this video was gonna be and I feel like this is the best way that I could have ended it we have a dream spot I mean I'm sad that I'm only going to be here for three days, but the road goes on and there will be more dream spots, but I'm just going to end this one on a high note and show you how beautiful Southwest Wyoming is.